this video, we're going to be going over the top five blitzes in Madden 24 right now. And uh, we are in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook for all of these defensive blitz setups. Now, coming in at number five on our list is the pinched version of DB Fire 2. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to baseline, you're going to pinch your defense, and then you're going to stand about right here. And what you're going to see is you're going to get a slot cornerback coming in off of the left side edge to get pressure at the quarterback. Coming in at number four on our list is another blitz out of the DB Fire. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your coaching adjustments to base align in your coaching adjustments. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and come out in – double safety blitz and you're going to actually put db fire 2 in your audibles what you're going to do then is you're just going to audible to db fire 2 and you're going to leave your defensive line spread this time you can either use or whichever slot or whichever linebacker you want as you're going to see these slot corners are both going to loop around the edge for easy pressure at the quarterback coming in at number three on our list is the nickel three three i still think this is one of the better blitzes in the game right now it's nickel blitz zero this is in the kansas City chiefs playbook you're going to flip the play and what you're going to do is you're going to pinch your defensive line you're going to shift your linebackers across you're going to globally blitz your linebackers down and then you're going to take that slot corner on the right side put him in whatever coverage you want you can always kind of create some different unique roll coverages uh, with this right here and you're going to use her this linebacker this five-man blitz is probably the most uh, consistent five-man pressure in the game and you're pretty much always going to get this linebacker uh, screaming through the a gap we'll show this to you one more time and again you can run it out of man or zone you don't even necessarily have to be baseline for the defense to work as you'll see right here we're not we're actually not going to baseline this time and what you're going to see is this blitz is still going to do a really good job of getting pressure on the quarterback coming in at number two on our list is kind of a, a hybrid blitz or it's really kind of two blitzes in one and it's a general concept or overarching concept building kind of off of what we just showed you so what this next blitz is going to be is kind of multiple methods to run it the first way to do it is to come out into play free safety zone blitz out of the dollar three two six formation all you're going to do is you're going to press you're going to pinch your d-line if your linebacker goes down like he did right there you're just going to move him like click onto him and then click off and then that's just pretty much the main concept. And then from there, you can back off the slot corner on the right. This can increase the effectiveness. You can contain and re-blitz the defensive end on the left. That can also increase the effectiveness. It's basically this like four-man or five-man A-gap that we just showed. And there's a lot of ways to get to this. You can even get to this out of other formations. But in general, this concept to me is uh, the number two blitz in Madden right now, as you can see right here. Um, if you ever want to increase the pressure, you can always send five. This is a really good bunch defense. It's really good against bunch strong specifically. Uh, some of those formations let me actually audible over uh, to gun bunch and we'll show you kind of the idea here but basically we'll do this and again you'll see here that we can send the linebacker and if we want to send extra pressure we can always send that slot corner as well but this little five-man pressure or little four-man pressure is really really effective now, another way in which we can actually get at that same basic blitzing concept and same pressure system is to utilize that base alignment that we talked about previously out of dollar. And we're going to come out in that double safety blitz. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and audible to the play spinner. What you're going to see is it's going to put that blitzing angle there, and then we can easily send five, even six people at the quarterback, and you're going to see just some really, really nice pressure. This is one of the most difficult blitzes uh, to pick up in this game. Wanted to drop kind of a little bonus variation of this. The cool part about the spinner blitz is you can easily adjust out of it. Something simple like the adjustments you see on your screen is actually really effective for stopping the majority of the offenses you're going to face online. The last, and in my opinion, the most overpowering blitz defense in Madden 24 is the 4-3 even 6-1. Especially an ultimate team where you can have 99 speed guys and you're going to oftentimes A-gap them and get some random disengages. This is a very good defense. What you're going to do is a simple setup. You're just going to globally blitz your linebackers and then you can choose which linebacker that you want to bail out into coverage. Here we're simply going to drop the guy off of the running back side and we're going to send the blitz just like this and oftentimes what you'll see is some really, really fast edge pressure. The other beauty of this is you can go ahead and send six if you want if you send six i recommend kind of playing in a little bit of a cover two shell and oftentimes if you send six even if they block a running back you're still going to get really 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 good pressure i want to thank you for watching this video and if you want to get any of these full defenses that we outlined in the video go ahead and join the patreon that's where you're going to get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks 
And the link to do that is going to be in the description down below. Again, I think 4-3, even 6-1, especially at this point in the year, probably the best defense just because of the speed. Um, when you get really, really fast players, it makes this blitz come in super, super fast. Oftentimes, you can even create different disengages. One of the other cool underrated features of this defense is its run defense and its shed defense in general are very effective. You get a lot of disengages, a lot of good sheds, a lot of good animations as a whole. So in my opinion right now, the 4-3, even 6-1 is the most powerful blitz defense in the game, whether it's the five-man, the four-man, the three-man, or the six-man, this blitz absolutely screams at your opponent.